In today's video, we announced the 150,000 subscriber special. It's all in this box, mostly. On this channel, we have opened some insane stuff, and especially for those subscriber specials. We haven't done one in quite a bit, like since like 100K probably, but we've opened some crazy boxes like Legend of Blue Eyes, Retro Pack 2. We've even opened every special edition ever made and every pack ever made. Well, I hope you guys liked that last one because we're opening every pack ever made again. Inside this box is nearly every single pack ever made. There's a couple missing, like some of the newer ones, but we're going to grab those as well. And I got it in a trade slash purchase on Instagram from Mo Yuki. I think is how you say the name. I don't exactly know how to say his name, but he traded him to me slash sold him to me. We're going to check them all out in this video. But before we hop into it, we are going to do a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away this Brothers of Legend first edition box. Just make sure you like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know if you're excited for 150K. Make sure to subscribe because once we hit that, we can get these open and it's going to be another insane video. By the way, if you haven't seen the first time we did this, go check it out. I'll have the link up in the description. Pop it up on the screen. It was about two years ago, a little bit more than that. We opened every single pack. It was crazy. But two years ago, there were some packs that didn't exist yet, and now we do have them. So we're going to be opening them up as well. It's going to be pretty amazing. Oh, and it looks like we actually have a giveaway. Newer set packs plus giveaway. So let's get this open. So we have an additional giveaway to the booster boxes. So this is going to be a pretty nice giveaway in this video. Make sure you guys enter it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because I'm excited to do this opening again. Hopefully, we will not forget to record at the end. I'm going to have a backup camera this time and everything. I'm going to be ready. We have a duelist pack, you say blister. This looks pretty cool. Or is that you say two? You say two. OK, so this has been added to the giveaway. So make sure you guys enter that. Then we have the newer packs like Burst of Destiny, Dawn of Majesty, or Brothers of Legend. I mean, Battles of Chaos. A lot of this stuff hadn't come out last time we did this. So it's pretty cool. Battles of Chaos. Actually, all of this stuff, I think. Yeah, literally all of this is from 2022 or 2021. So that's cool to see that stuff. We're going to have packs just piled up in the background here. This is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. And some of these actually weren't just single packs. They were like sealed products. So like this is a first edition Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Uh, that's sick. So very cool. This is like an insanely expensive product. It's like $600 now. It's ridiculous. Now we've got some blisters like this is this was extremely well packaged, by the way. He put in absolute work because he this came over from Europe, by the way. I think it's Europe. Yeah, pretty sure it's Europe. So uh, it was definitely um, not a short trip. And he absolutely crushed this packaging. Very, very, very very respectable and really uh this is a really a testament to him just wanting to see this opening because like we kind of agreed on this a long time ago and he's been really patient with me like waiting and i still haven't even fully paid him or like traded him all his stuff yet so respect for sending these over and i'm really excited about it uh first edition cybernetic revolution and he's even got these sleeved up which is pretty cool uh we've got duels pack chaz and you and you say we've given away one of these before i think we've got the classic dark legends which if you guys have not seen the psa video yet i have some dark legend stuff in the PSA return. It might be tomorrow when you're seeing this or it could have been yesterday. I'm not really sure. And then we've got the Forbidden Legacy. This is pretty cool. I don't really know what this has to do with anything because these are unlimited packs, um, but Either way, I'm still excited to have this. All right, this looks like this is going to be DRO4. It's sealed up by itself. And by the way, DRO4 is Dark Revelation 4. This is actually one of the best Dark Revelations that ever came out. And it only came in these packages, I think. So it was like you had to get the two pack blister. Even if you got like a whole like special edition thing, it was still in this. So this is a really nice pack. Very expensive pack as well. Let me say that. But wait. Did you know that Megaton 2022 pre-sales are out? Use my code MightyRuxin30 if you want to get $30 off with Sassy Auto's link. It also supports me as well. If you haven't heard about the reprints in these tins, they're reprinting Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes with new artwork. And they're also reprinting a bunch of new cards like Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Forbidden Droplet, Nibiru, Ash, Ghost Ogre, and many more. So make sure you guys use code MightyRuxin if you guys want to save $30 on your pre-order tin and it supports the channel. So let's get back to the video. This next box has just a ton of loose packs so we've got like star pack uh 2014 legacy of the valiant war of the giants round two i hope you guys just enjoy seeing these like before we even open them it's just so cool to like remember all the sets judgment of the light there's the chica lattes pack literally the best pack you can possibly get we got the number hunters we got war of the giants by the way notice they're all first edition if possible what attack you on galaxy we've got the uh, hidden arsenal seven knight of the stars star pack 2013 i'm getting excited for this cosmo blazer first edition abyss rising first edition and i'm excited because we're like not that far from 150 50k we're around like 141 right now so only like 9,000 to go it really should be fairly soon that we can do this if you guys hit that subscribe button if you're new um by the way i looked at the percentage you know how i have the 50 percent of you guys are not subscribed and you guys are like it has to be more than 50 now it's actually 58 percent of you guys are not subscribed so go down below and click that subscribe button yeah that's just how it works when more people start watching like more of them are not subscribed so uh, breakers shadow we got the dimension of chaos oh high speed riders was actually crazy in auction series at one point uh clash of rebellions i've got a special edition of this 
coming at some point. So that's going to be fun to open. Those are unlimited, though. Uh, Dragon's Legend 2, Star Pack, Arc V, Cross Souls. We've got World Legacy Stu or World Superstars, the Secret Forces, Secrets of Eternity. We've got the new challenges. Where am I going to put all these? I just thought about this. Duelist Alliance First Edition, Battle Pack 2. We've got Primal Origin and we've got Dragons of Legend First Edition. That's pretty valuable. That was only one of the three stacks from that in that small box that I just pulled out. So we've got a lot more. We got Pendulum Evolution. We've got Maximum Crisis, Star Pack, Battle Royale. We've got Fusion Enforcers, Raging Tempest, Destiny Soldiers, Invasion Vengeance, Dragons of Legend Unleashed. We've got the Dark Illusion, Shining Victories, and Millennium Pack. Then we've got ourselves Battles of Legend Heroes or, Vent or Relentless Revenge, Dark Saviors, Flames of Destruction, Star Pack, more Star Pack. The Legendary Duelist used to be valuable, got all those reprints. So Stream Force, also one that I was opening right when I got back into it. Duelist Saga is always one of my favorites to open. Spirit Warriors is pretty cool. Circuit Break, got Legendary Duelist Season, well, not Season 1, not Season 1, not even Number 1. They just called it Legendary Duelist. That's it. It's so weird because like every time you look up a Legendary Duelist like Price Guide, it brings up this one because it's like, oh, Legendary Duelist, this set. It's like, no, it's not. Co the Duelist and Battles of Legend and Relentless Revenge. If we insult this pack, we will pull the firewall. Happens every single time. The cool part is like the last time we did this, I had not opened a lot of these sets very much. We've opened a ton of like a lot of these sets now because just so many videos that we've had. Dark Neo Storm, uh, the key. What is this? Arena of Lost Souls, Infinity Chaser, Savage Strike. I've really not opened a lot of this, actually, but it's not that old. Uh, Legendary Duel Sisters. This is kind of the same thing. I've opened some of the reprints, but not that one. Hidden Summoners, uh, Sofu, Legendary Duel Spy Dragon Abyss, Shadows of Valhalla, Cybernetic Revolution. Yu-Gi-Oh! has a lot of sets. Just let me tell you. Eternity Code. We've got ourselves Secret Slayers. I got a booster box of this now. Very cool. Duel Overload. This set has been reprinted into Oblivion, unfortunately. Just all the cards in it. Ignition Assault. We got uh, Magical Hero, Dual Power, Speed Duel, Mystic Fighters, Chaos Impact, Mortal Destiny, Fist of, oh, Fist of the Gadgets. That's exciting. I can't wait. I almost want to rip this open right now. Uh, Scars of Battle. Heroes Revenge. Can we pull that BLS? And that BLS is still valuable, by the way, because they just won't print it in low rarity. It's pretty crazy, which I, I mean, I can respect that. It's not, it's not that great of a card anyway, so keep it valuable. Uh, King's Court. We've got the Lightning Overdrive. Ancient Guardians. Ghost from the Past 1. We've got Blazing Vortex. We've got Legendary Duel Season 2. Genesis and Back. By the way, if I miss something and you don't see it, uh, try to let me know. Um, I'll, the chances are you probably just missed it, but also like if I am missing something, I want to know. So let me know even if you like might have missed it. It's no big deal. It'll be helpful anyway. Uh, Rise of the Duelist because then I'll double check to make sure I have it. Battles of Legend Arm again. If we got a 10k out of one pack, can you imagine? Uh, season one and then two Chaos First Edition. That's still pretty valuable. What is that? What the? Oh no, I'm gonna have to crack this thing. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Uh, Retro Pack 1, it's in a slab. So this is gonna be fun to get out. I'm gonna have to crack this slab open, which I never crack stuff, honestly. I've done it like five or six times ever. So we're gonna have to crack that open. This thing is heavy, dude. I kind of like this slab though. It's very nice for display, like it's super solid, but okay, that's get, that's gonna be a nightmare to actually get out. All right, we're really starting to get into some good stuff. Retro Pack's obviously good, but uh, Return of the Duelist, we've got our Hidden Arsenal. This is getting older. Epic Dawn, Galactic Overlord, Order of Chaos, Hidden Arsenal 5, Photon Shockwave, Generation 4, Stream Victory. These might be in some sort of order, actually. Wait, are these in order? I probably should have been kept keeping these in order, to be honest, but we're doing what we can. Then we've got the Star Strike Blast. That's a pretty rare set. Only comes in first dead, actually. Uh, Duelist Rev. We got a Hidden Arsenal 2, Shining Darkness First Edition, Absolute Power Force, Stardust Overdrive, Hidden Arsenal, Ancient Prophecy First Edition, Raging Battle First Edition, Crimson Crisis. Duelist Genesis First Edition. If we get a Ghost Rider in any of these, we're going to freak out. Light of Destruction. We got the Phantom Darkness, Galactic or Gladiator's Assault. OK, Tactical Evolution, Strike of Neos and Cyber Dark Impact. Woo, looking nice. Some fire sets right here. And now we've got even more. We got Power of the Duelist. And yeah, these are definitely in order. Shadow of Infinity, Lost Millennium, Flaming Eternity, Rise of Destiny, Soul of the Duelist. Oh, man. Ancient Sanctuary, First Edition Invasion. I thought these were in a different box. Uh, DR3, wait, DR2. Three? No, DR1 and DR2. Okay, so woo, some nice stuff there. Yeah, it's going in order because here's DR3. Here's Dark Beginning 1. Here's Dark Beginning 2. We've got Premium Pack. We've got uh, Premium Pack 2. Legendary Duel Synchro Storm Light Edition. Okay, the, the Light Editions we actually didn't open in the last one, so that's actually pretty cool to have those. Millennium Pack. We've got Duelist Pack, Pharaohs. Yeah, it's going back to kind of older ones. Wait, wait. There's two of those. Okay, no, the light edition. Okay, the regular edition. Battle City, Crow, Yusei, Kaiba. You say, you say, okay, we got the duelist pack. You say again, literally a million of them. Um, we've got all these duelist packs. Yeah, these aren't the most exciting. They're kind of cool, but 
yeah, th there's not really a lot inside of them, but still a pretty nice stack there with some GX stuff as well. Next up, we have mini boxes of gold series. So we got the infinite gold. That's beautiful. I also have another question for you guys. When we do the actual opening, do you want to have all the packs laying out like we did last time? I thought that was pretty fun. And it's like, you kind of see like we got a lot coming up or should we like have it more clean? Because like I have a different setup now. I don't know if we can even show everything. I would have to probably switch the setup a little bit. Premium gold return of the bling. I don't know. Let me know what your opinion is on if we should have the packs behind me while I'm opening or if they should just be like off to the side and I'm just going one at a time. Premium gold, which we're going one at a time anyway, but uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Gold series haunt in mind. Ghost share is guaranteed. Very nice. Then we have gold series three. Beautiful. Then we have gold series 2009. Okay. I haven't opened a lot of that set. And then gold series. This is one is really expensive now. So pretty cool to grab that. So all those gold series are really nice to open. That's going to be fun. All right. And there are a couple more golds, including the pyramid edition, the weirdest packaging ever. It's a big triangle. You guys can't see it that well because we're running out of room. Then we have a couple of Maximum gold, we got gold and then El Dorado. Then we have some of the random packs like movie pack, uh, power pack A, power pack B, uh, secret edition, gold edition, regular edition, the movie, you know, just all this random stuff. The more power up packs, 2014, 15, 16 megatons. And depending on when we do this, like some of the stuff might, like there might be a new set that literally just came out. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We got Rally Yellow Mega Pack. Oh man, all these mega packs are amazing. Five Ds. So I guess the uh, the Yugi one, we're gonna have to open that box to actually get that one. Which honestly, I might just buy a loose pack and then keep that one for another video. Maybe we'll do that, I don't know. Then we're getting into some crazy stuff like TP1. Too. I mean, just all the tournament pack stuff. Like these are very, very valuable packs, even though they only hold a few cards. Astro pack. Wait, so where's champion pack? Okay, champion pack just out of order. So I don't know if he uh, just didn't have them in order. But here's astro pack, which is after turbo. So this is actually the fourth one. The second one was champion. So we got champion pack one, two, three, four, five. Then we got six, seven, and eight. So that's all of those. So they did eight. So they did eight tournament packs, eight champion packs, eight turbo packs, eight astro packs. Then they did OTS like forty-five packs. So we're on OTS like twenty now or whatever. So uh, turbo packs, we can pull some crazy ulties like dad and judgment dragon out of these potentially specific sets speed duel one two i think we need three there's a third one now we don't have that so if you have a speed duel three and you see this video and you want to sell it to me just for the video that'd be great uh, anything you see that i'm missing and you have it hit me up because I'm, I'm definitely buying it at some point ots we got to go through 20 of these four four is crazy this is the one with the max seed potentially it took me forever to get last time and we got the astral and everything this time so it's really really nice we don't have to worry about finding those again this time it saved me a lot of time he doesn't have 18 or 19 but I have both of those, so we're good. So we don't have to worry about tournament pack 18 and 19. Uh, we've got those covered. And here's the final box. This says uh, the best box. Thank you, Ruxin, for amazing content. And thank you once again, Mayuki is what I'm going to say for trading slash selling these to me and holding them on, you know, for like six months, well, maybe not six months, but it was a lot of months. He's been planning it with me. So thanks a lot for doing that, dude. It's going to be a great video. I'm excited about it. Last time uh, I stayed up all night um, editing it. So we have editors now, so they're going to be making some nice money on that. <laughs> <laughs> and the finale of every single pack there's a couple missing obviously but we're, we're getting those and doing all that stuff but here's the finale of the last few packs uh we're starting with the best we have the legend blue eyes first edition we have metal raiders first edition we have metal raiders promotional pack which we opened last time off camera because i had to recreate it because i didn't record it magic ruler spell ruler first edition we've got labyrinth of nightmare first edition we got pharaoh servant first edition we've got legacy of darkness veronic guardian magician's force we've got dark crisis first edition we've got retro pack so why was ioc like randomly not in here okay retro pack we got shonen jump this is actually a really cool pack limited edition one we've got the obelisk that is kind of randomly in there mcdonald's pack one mcdonald's pack two we've got a i don't know what this is no noble knights of the round table i did not open this in the last one a bunch of people commented that so we got to open this world championship one or 2011 2010 those are both nice first edition crossroads randomly in here not with the other ones shonen jump anniversary pack so i don't know whatever this other i thought this was anniversary pack for a second what was this i don't know what that is so that's cool uh shonen jump anniversary and then we've got elemental energy so we just put some like really nice ones there at the end insane like this is going to be absolutely awesome when we do this and we're really really close at 150k i figured we do another subscriber special because it's been a while and like 150k is a pretty awesome amount like i can't believe that we're actually getting to that point so 10k we did it 150k we're gonna do it again i think it'll be even better this time so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are excited for this video shout out to tcg trusted cards tone Fo show tomato juice daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanda squirtle flexi boy hoppus dizzy stanley mike nance mimic echo ian musa junior barding john nolan and Tai show thomas mcclain Seth Fisher and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.